Hey guys, this is Greg with Fit for Expedition, and we are in New Mexico, north of Silver City, at a campground called Mesa Campground. Let's take a little walk to the campground. You see it's pretty forested here. It's nice and cool. It's actually getting down in the 60s at night, low 60s. Oh wait, who is this? Ron sees America. What are Howdy. you doing here? What are you doing here? It's cool and it's not 112 degrees like it is in Dallas. And humid. And it is humid. humid here, but it's but it's cool though. So it's I fine. Love it. I love it. But we're dodging the raindrops. Yeah, it's raining. I got I got my rain gear on. Well, it did rain pretty hard for about five minutes, yeah. and then it stops again. So well, count on it happening again because that's just the way the weather is today. Here's my signature Fit for Expedition hat, but it's not the hat I always wear. This is a rain version. Makes you look like an Aussie. <laughs> Hear that, Brock? <laughs> Aussie band man. Ron just said I look like an Aussie. Yes. All right, I'm gonna go up and pay them. Rock, where are you? I thought you were gonna be here, man. Hey, uh, Brock, our condolences on your van on having some issues, and hopefully you can get Says that taken care of. the man whose truck is stalled on him in transit a hundred times since we started this trip. <laughs> and that's that's not a joke. Yeah, that's 100 percent true. Accurate, at least 100 times. Probably maybe 200 times coming up the mountain road. Yeah, but it was worse, and we had O'Reilly's put a put a reader on it and changed that part, and it's gotten better. We were working on the map sensor. I don't know if this is going to be. It should be in order, but it might be a week or two later than the other one because I have other obligations for like product reviews and things like that that I have to do. But um, yeah, it was the map sensor, and the. And I didn't even, I'd never even heard of a map sensor before, <laughs> before they told me that. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> had you? Uh-uh. <laughs> anyway. Actually, I think I had one time, but okay. I didn't know what the heck it's it was. It's usually the mass airflow sensor. I, I thought it was the thing that made your GPS on your computer screen work. Yeah, on right. Your, on your tablet or on your, uh, or in your head. display or, or in your head. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but actually, it's the, the mass airflow sensor, those go bad on vehicles. N you know, not all the time, but I mean, it's not an uncommon thing. If it's a mass airflow sensor, why do they call it a map with a piece? No, this is a different one. Okay. This is a different, and I don't even know what this stands for. Yeah. No, but the mass airflow sensor, I know I've had to replace that a couple of times on this truck and on my Ford trucks and, you know, on other vehicles. So it, that's not unusual, but yeah, um, yeah and my old van chevy uh, gm no it was a chevy van I, I think i changed that thing every three months it kept going bad so which means there's probably some other issue with it which is just a lesson that everyone needs to needs to learn is that if you decide to live a lifestyle like this and, and greg's not quite there yet uh but i'm living it full time and i'm about half like time this, yeah half yeah. time uh because you do travel a lot mm -hmm. uh in in your in your rig so yeah and but anyway there's things like this are gonna happen when you put a lot of miles on a vehicle and you take it up and down mountains and and you know just uh, i've got a low tire a tire a low tire leak in mine right now that though got me a little bit worried but uh but yeah these things are gonna happen and uh you just like like with greg you just <laughs> You just kind of crank it back up and keep on going if you can. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and, and dirt roads take a toll on your vehicle, and you know, bumpy, just bumpy roads, bad roads, roads that haven't been redone for ten years. Dust. You know, dust, rain, even rain getting all the water in the engine compartment can can have issues. One thing I would suggest that I didn't bring with me this time is bring some if you have some wire whatever gauge wire it is because it might just get you by even if you have to replace it with some thicker wire or maybe use two strands of wire so is this something so, you've learned on this thing that we maybe usually carry could... it with us oh do and, you? but yeah but but remember i got ready for this trip in just one day right and i was actually doing stuff to the truck at the right. same time and packing and putting all my stuff together so um you know so i was doing upgrades to the truck at the same time and then slept like five hours and hit the road mm. so um sometimes but, you may not have that room i would not have room for all of that extra stuff yeah but but need. if you but wire just wire doesn't need much space 
and you know you can use the same color wire for the different runs if you have to and then when you get somewhere where you can pick up some more wire and do it right find some way right. color code them yeah so or, you know or yeah or tape work. that's color coded or something yeah um but also some some of the little shrink tubing that you just you can just use a lighter and and it'll just you know you make a connection put it over that yeah, it's great heat it up and that that doesn't take up any space either i understand you should i mean for me i I usually even carry a few little small parts and stuff. I usually have an air filter with me, even, you know what I mean? That, which doesn't take, which actually takes a, quite a bit of space. That's actually pretty good size, you know, but, yeah. um, but I didn't have it this time because I was in such a hurry. I have one sitting at the house, but I didn't have it in the truck. Well, the, <laughs> the truck having problems gave you a situation where you're trying to troubleshoot and figure out what it is. Mm -hmm. So you put a new one in set and it still doesn't, I, that wasn't it. No. Oh, I know, uh, we're, we're at Walmart and there's, uh, Auto parts store right there with a with a computer uh, reader on it. Before that though, we I bought a uh, cleaner for the mass airflow sensor, yeah. and we tried the mass airflow sensor. And then this whole time, I'm talking to my mechanic in Tucson, John at Rowdy's uh, Garage in Tucson. He's great. He's an awesome mechanic too. You know John. Yeah, yeah John. Yeah, yeah, yeah John's uh, real cool. He's got his name. It, he's nicknamed Rowdy, but it's right there on his yeah. shirt. <laughs> um, but he's uh, he's worked on this truck a lot and. Um, the predecessor before him actually worked on this truck for 10 years, probably. So, um, but yeah, I, but so I'm in contact with him. He's telling me, you know, it's either this. He's really, really smart guy. You know, he went, he's not just a mechanic that just learned on the job. Mm -hmm. He actually went to school for it, and then he learned on the job. You oh, know, yeah. So he's like, it's either this, 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 or this. You know what I mean? And he, and when I talked to him last, he does think it's the wiring. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, to the the map sensor so so what you'll do is the next chance you get you'll try to do something about the wiring or are you going to try to get it the rest i'm going to have him home? do it i'm going to go have, home yeah and then i'm just going to drop the truck up probably right when i get home i'm just going to drop it off at the shop and then kelly and i are going to phoenix to go see the orioles play the diamondbacks for three games um and and then we're coming back to town and the truck should be all fixed up by the time i get back Cool. Well, so we're taking a, we're just taking our F-150 yeah. with the shell on the back. But from my perspective, this is what I mean. You're going through it, but it's something that I haven't really gone through uh, with this. I've had a bat dead battery a couple of times, my fault. And uh, you know, it's just by not knowing the vehicle well enough, and there's something drawing down the power I've left on or something. But um, yeah, but with what you're going through, you you. You really do have that possibility. Well, I, I I remember you said when something like that happens to you, your heart stops. You yeah, know? yeah. But see, I was in transportation for you know about 15 years, mm -hmm. and this stuff happened. When you have more than you know, when you have six or seven vehicles going on the road every day, something this happens every happen. day. <laughs> every day something happens. So you're fixing. Yeah. You're either running out with a part and fixing it yourself, or you're having it towed. And I only had a couple of drivers that really handled it themselves. And for the most part, I had to go and handle things. So we're over in that spot right there. You see my truck and you see Ron's uh, minivan right there, it's Odyssey. And to get into this, that's the opposite direction you're supposed to be in there. You're supposed to be backed in. But I wanted to have my door on the side of the picnic table. So that's why I parked that way. But if you look over here, I had to back up over here and I, I could have easily done it and just stopped right here could have stopped right here on the edge but my truck rolled right over here right over the edge so you see how steep that is that is pretty steep actually yeah it's well my hands are pretty damn big and the and that's it right there so um so I was stuck with my tires on this side luckily I had one tire on this behind this but one was over here if I'd have had both tires behind this there's no way we would have got out and my air conditioning cowling was sitting well oops you can see the tree is a little bit marred right there not much it didn't do much to the air conditioning cowling either it was pretty crazy because there was a lot of pressure on that <laughs> and so to get out we had to back the truck up against this tree we actually had to back it into the tree on purpose push the tree back. And, and and push the tree back and then i had those little 
orange ramps that you use for leveling your vehicle and or for not for leveling your vehicle you use those for just stopping your vehicle so it doesn't roll and that got us out and actually i did see a woman from the campground over here yesterday ron did you you didn't see that did you i saw somebody over here yeah she was over here checking it she probably was checking the they probably checked the fire pits anyway for trash but pretty sure she was looking at that also but that's not bad all right fun seekers this is going to wrap it up for another episode of fit for expedition um half of your host team here greg kelly's not with me this time but she'll be with us soon again on another excursion uh if you like this video please hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here and i hope you can come back again see you next time